Uh. Rob, you've been critical of Lonzo. Maybe you have even called him a bust. So have you changed your mind at all? By the way, you you realize you turned around his whole life. You went to that game that night. That's Remember right. That? <laughs> that Friday night game. And from that moment on, for all for you. He saw you up in the crowd. <laughs> he said, crowd I'm going to show up. Yeah. So what was that question again? <laughs> have you changed your mind at all? No, no way, way, no how. how. Yeah. Come on. You know what? Come on. I, I'm not the kid against, uh, uh, not Portland, uh, the game before, of the Spurs. Mm-hmm. You know what? He made shots. He knocked down shots. Hats off to him. Nobody's mm. going to take away when he plays well. He hasn't played consistently well all year. Right. But that game, they gave him shots, and they said, we dare you to knock down threes, and he did it. Mm. So I give him credit there. But, but let's not have this uh, gloss over the reality that is Lonzo Ball. Mm. And the reality, Skip Bayless, this is for you. Okay. All real numbers. Thank you. Of the 16 rookies, uh, mm-hmm. 300 field goal attempts or mm-hmm. more, yeah. He's second to worst in the NBA this season. Mm-hmm. Of the 12 rookies with 150 three-point field goal attempts or mm-hmm. more, right, he's the third worst of all rookies in the NBA. Mm-hmm. And of the 23 rookies with 50 free throw attempts or more, he is last in well, free throw. Okay? I, would, I would think he would be wet, d- dead, dead last. Like he's like, last. Yeah. Okay? So, you know – for you to, like, celebrate and act like he's arrived because he had this one game, which is a great win for them. And I know the Spurs were missing people. I'm not going to discount the win because people weren't there. You got to play with who's there. They scored 34, 35 points in the fourth quarter Mm -hmm. on the road. That's a big-time win in the NBA no matter who's there. So I'll give you that. But when he was out, he missed 15 games. At one point, they were 8-2 and without him. Brandon Ingram played well. I mean, so so when when I Hugh Randall, housing right, they were all playing well. So the thing about Lonzo is, if you're going to look at him when he does have a few good games and he plays well in this stretch that he's had, you can't discount or or look at the bad season that mm-hmm. he's had for the most part, and the numbers bear it out. Mm. No matter what you talk about, this was not the season that people thought Lonzo Ball was going to have. It just isn't. It wasn't what was advertised. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be the rookie of the year like Jason Kidd. He's not Jason Kidd. He's not not that guy. Magic said they're going to hang his his jersey in the rafters and he's going to replace him as one of the all-time greats. None of that is true Mm. so far. Does that mean that he can't be a productive player in the Mm. league? Yes, you've never heard me say that he can't play. You did. I did know the B word. You but I, the bust I, word. I'm not taking that away. Okay. I said to that point, he had. He was a bust. Mm. Has he played better since he came back? Yes, he has. Mm. But he is not the guy as advertised. And if you think that the Lakers are going anywhere different with him so far, mm. you're wrong. They're mm. not. Go ahead, Skip. I'll let you refute, Rob. <laughs> You, you don't want to pile on? No, no, no. You I want to pile on. I want, I want a sandwich. I want huh? you to go in the middle and then oh, I'm going to come go. around. I mean, go ahead. Come I would rather both of you pile on <laughs> no, and no. I can just dismantle both no, of you at no, once. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> so, Rob Parker, since December 12th, that's a long time ago, this, this kid has shot 47 of 106 from the three-point line. That's 44.3%. That is not bust from the three-point line, and that's a long span of time. Well, but there were 15 games he, he missed, missed as well. So, but that's 16 of his games. So that's a pretty good sample size. And, again, just since he came back from his injury over the last five games, he's 17 of 29. That's 59%. I, I told this man repeatedly. I had to sit over here and say, no, 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 just the way you said no to him because he kept saying he can't shoot. He's got to change the funky style. Mm -hmm. I said he made 41% at UCLA, and even though the line's a little closer, he will be a 38 to 40% career three-point shooter in the NBA, and he's gotten right back on track. I also told both of you, no kid, no rookie has ever come into any league in the history of pro sports in this country with a bigger target on his back than this kid did. And he was crumbling for the first six weeks of the season because he had to see point guard after point guard who wanted to obliterate him and obliterate the father for saying all the things that came out of the father's mouth. And like the father, uh, Damian Lillard the other night? Everybody. Name, name somebody. Somebody's taking a <laughs> shot at Lonzo to get at 
LeVar. LeVar. So just point why, if, if you just look at across the board numbers, he's 10, 7, and 7. And if, if you look at the whole league right now, you can't find anybody other than LeBron James who's making 30% or more of his threes with those numbers across the board. Only LeBron and Lonzo. Obviously, uh, LeBron's way above Lonzo's numbers. But there are only two of those in, those category, in that category. And then you look at this. He obviously leads his team in assists. For much of the year until just recently when Julius Randle came back alive, Lonzo has led this team in rebounding. Someday he will average 10-plus rebounds a, a game as he gets his man body. He's 20 years of age, and he leads the team in steals, and in uh, he, he's high in blocks for because he's 6'7", and he's long, and he can block shots, so he's very disruptive on defense. All I see is a very special player, but a subtly special player because he doesn't care about scoring, so he's not your cup of tea. He's not going to wow you. He's not going to knock you out of your seat. If, if he thinks his team needs to, for him to score 29 like he did at Phoenix, he'll go score 29. But the best, what he's going to average, so someday he'll average a triple-double for a whole season. I will bet on it. I'll, Remember I'll, I said I'll this. I'll take that bet. Okay? I, I I'll will bet on bet. it because as he grows up, he'll average 15 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. That's what he, He's not going to be Russell going 30, 10, and 10, but he'll go 15, 10, and 10, more like Jason Kidd. And he will lead this team to a championship at some point because he is a very special, high IQ player, and he is Magic's cup of tea. And Magic said transcend it. And we've had others on this show, other coaches in the league, they're just in awe of the they impact, love the, kid. The, the subtle impact he has on the game. But he's not for the easily wowed or easily amused. He's not going to play that way because he doesn't care. He only cares about doing what is required in any given moment. And, again, if that's not your kind of guy, I, I'm fine with that. But, but he's my kind of guy. Rob, you see what they do? To try to make this situation, make it appear better, since December 12th, they started playing games in October. So what, uh, am, what, I, what, what, what am I supposed to do about October and November, Joy? What, what you should do is look at what LeVar did to Lonzo. How about this here? Since he's been back, he's shooting 50% from the field. Guess what, Rob? Now he's shooting 36% for the season. When you the add that... Add this, so add the 50% in. See, so you're still, not going to give the 20-year-old, he was actually 19 at that point, you're not going to give him any break for what his father did to him for the first six months? No, weeks? his fa father said he played no bearing on that. Oh. He said uh, his father dad... father says a lot of things. Well, just, well he, <laughs> said, he said he's been dealing with this his, his whole life. been talking his whole life. So now you're going to actually take to heart what his father said? I'm talking, no, I'm talking about what he said. Mm -hmm. If it's a lie, he told it. But anyway, Skip, now... When I look at other rookies, Donovan Mitchell, two 40-point games. Love him. Six games of 30. Love him. Kyle Kuzma got us on his very team. Got 16 games of 20-plus point plus, 20 plus points. Mm -hmm. I see. How about this, this? I know a guy that was rookie of the year, Joy, about five, six years ago. He averaged 17, 6, and 6. His name was Michael Carter Williams. 17, 6, and 6. Mm-hmm. You know where he's playing now? He's in Charlotte. Yeah, go look it up before the draft. See what I said about him before the draft. Did not like him. He was rookie of the year. Still don't like he him. He rookie of the year. Okay. Well, That's something Lonzo Ball ain't going to Lonzo Ball ain't going to be rookie of the yeah. year. You, you want this bet? I, I'll take Lonzo Ball against Kyle Kuzma long term. And if, if God is willing and we're together five years from today, we'll you done. will eat those words so Ooh. big. Yeah, you like Kuzma. Well, Kuzma, we'll Skip, you just got to admit, if you're looking at what we're talking about he's in come front back of you. To Earth. Yeah, yeah, but in front of you, he's still the best rookie on the team. He's had a, he is uh, not. He's had a better he's, year. He has not. He's had a it's better not even year than Lonzo. Yeah, no, nope. and, and, oh, but and Julius. Sorry. So, so, he, so Lonzo Ball better than Julius Randle? He played better than Julius Randle? He's more valuable to the team. I, I ain't talking about Mm -hmm. Is he playing better? Is he better? Julius Randle was a high pick, man. Yeah, yeah but, he's but good. He, he wasn't high than Lonzo. Well, but I'm saying he was a pretty high pick. I forget what like he seven, was. He's he like seven or nine or something well, okay. like that. Okay. But what did Luke Walton say in the preseason? He is a quote monster. Yeah. And he is. He's a really good player. Oh, no. he didn't win. But he's better with Lonzo. He didn't win. He didn't win what you call him. He didn't win summer league player of the year. I was pretty impressed. No, but, but, but the or, dad or didn't affect the summer league, right? Yeah, Some, right. Somehow dad didn't affect the summer all league. Those rookies, and there was no pressure on him there. Were all those rookies that you rave about in the summer league, they were all there. So but, what happened? Interesting. But, but Lonzo, I'm saying... Yeah, Donovan, but he wasn't having to play against Patrick Beverly in the summer league exactly. like he did in game number one. With Donovan or Mitchell. Damian Lillard. Yeah. Donovan but, Mitchell, look what he's doing. Look at Lar uh, uh, marketing. 
I, I got it. Did, they, did their dad say they were better than step well, I ain't got nothing no. to do with it. What they got to do well, with him? It has everything to do. You know it and I know it. He said his dad has been talking since he was a little bitty boy. So, Skip, it affected him when he first started, but it doesn't affect it him now. now. No. Why, why not? It doesn't affect him now. Have you heard from dad lately? What? Yes. Hasn't he been Wasn't that long ago? by his absence lately? I haven't heard a word from him for maybe yeah. a month. Maybe they so took his Lamar. passport over there yeah. in Lithuania. We haven't heard from Lamar <laughs> since uh, All Star break. Yeah, yeah, he'll be back. It's just well, a matter I'm of time. Sure he will. Of course he will. <laughs> I'm sure. But he we will. haven't heard from him since. But then. these numbers about yeah. the rookies, I, he act like they don't they don't count. This Isn't a whole the goal season. to improve as the mm. season goes yeah. on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. do you think he's he can still shoot? last place? Can he shoot threes? Can he shoot three? Yeah. yeah if he he's told open, me last time. If he's, he's wide shoot. open. But he, lost, but he lost a bow wow with no shoes he on. Did not he didn't bow-wow. lose a bow wow. He did a bow wow. He won so two out of three in a bow wow. Sure right. Bow-wow's, bow-wow's closer to being rookie of the year than Lonzo. Bow wow, Ball. my homeboy from the crib. I think, I think we should What's put bow wow out there. Let's see what happens. You saw him in the movie. Like Mike? Yeah. Skip, what happens when they decide that they're going to guard him on a three point line now? What? They've been guarding him. They've been guarding him. Did you watch the Spurs game? He was I did. Open. I watch it. Yeah. He wasn't open? Yeah. There's some stat I don't have it in front of me, but on contested threes, he's hot. He's still making like 37 Did you watch? Did you? What about what about the Portland game? Did you watch him shoot the three against Portland? Yeah. How did, how did he look? How'd that go? He made two huge late threes, clutch threes, because he's got clutch in him as opposed to that guy born in Akron, <laughs> that guy that you can't trust late in games. You can don't trust that, this Skip. guy. You can Skip, trust this you. guy. Hold wow. on, this is the guy there? you can trust. Hold on, I, hold on, Skip. He, he asked Rob, for it, and he got Rob. it. Now, you're going to let the man say, th- say that. No, I am not. Rob against oh, the Kings. Do you against... need a bodyguard? No, no I'm, saying, I'm with you. We, I'm not know, that. we know how Rob's Rob feels about the Kings. around here now. We know how that. Rob feels about the Kings. Mm. But I'm not that, about <laughs> not that crazy about the Kings. He's not that crazy about the Kings. No, not that crazy. We've got to leave it there. Thanks for joining us. Well, they- Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.